morning, everyone. How are y'all doing? Oh, we can do better than that. I know we can do better than that. We're going to go Gales. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Mac Dolosky. I'm the director of athletics here at Iowa University. Um, on behalf of everyone here at the institution, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Today is a terrific day. We know every day is a great day for you all, but today is particularly special as we get the opportunity So let me begin by just taking a few moments to recognize and thank a few very special people who have been instrumental in today. Um, first and foremost, our president, Dr. Seamus Carey. Through Dr. Carey's leadership, we have achieved incredible heights. My own university is on the rise. So many exciting things happening campus-wide, the addition of our Bronxville campus, um, the new School of Health Sciences, the Kelly School of Health Sciences on our Bronxville campus, partnership with New York Presbyterian, the list goes on and on. But above all, Dr. Carey is an incredible supporter of all things Iowa athletics. Um, he is truly behind the scenes, working to support our student athletes to ensure the very best experience. So on behalf of all of us, thank you, Dr. Carey, for your leadership. <laughs> to our board of trustees, we have an incredible group of trustees, most notably Mike Haggerty, our chairman, so much to support our athletics programs. We could not be more appreciative um, through their leadership, their vision, their generosity. They continue to put Iona in the very best possible position to impact our experience of our students and student athletes alike. So to our board, thank you so much for all that you do. I'd also <laughs> I'd like to give a big Gail welcome to Tobin's family, um, to Jody, Tobin's wife. I know it has been a very, very busy few weeks. So on behalf of all of us, to Jody, Tobin's wife, a big thank you. Welcome. Uh, Tobin and, and Jody's children could not be here today, and that's for good reason. They missed a lot of school over the last few weeks, uh, as Fairleigh Dickinson went on an incredible run. But we can't welcome, uh, we can't, get, uh, can't begin to be um, more excited about welcoming them to the Iona Gale family. Um, <clears throat> there are too many people to thank individually. There's so many people behind the scenes that help support athletes and make this all possible, but I did want to take a moment to recognize one very special individual, uh, Mr. Edward Aragoni. Uh, most of you know Mr. Aragoni, he is all things Iona, an incredible supporter for so many years. Um, he talks about supporting the jersey, supporting what makes it possible to impact our student athletes. And over the years, he has been instrumental in putting the resources in place to make sure that we have the very best available for our student athletes. He hasn't been able to be here in person as much always watching, always supporting, always checking in on what he can do to help. I know he's watching at home, so it's Mr. Aragoni. We love you, we miss you, and we wish you all the best. How about a round of applause for Mr. Aragoni? <laughs> We've had a very special year. Um, two of our programs, our men's and women's basketball teams, winning the regular season and conference championships. Incredible, one of only a handful of schools in the country have that achievement. Um, that doesn't happen by accident. That is a credit to our coaches and our student athletes and all the things that they've done behind the scenes to put them in that position to achieve that level of success. I'd like to take a moment to recognize our women's basketball program under the direction of Billy Chambers, our coaches and our outstanding student athletes as part of our women's program. Our second ever regular season and that championship. So to our women's basketball program, congratulations. <laughs> I'd also like to congratulate our men's basketball program. We have our student athletes as part of our team sitting right here. What an incredible year. Our 14th conference championship as part of the Iona Gales. But moreover, the way that they have embraced, the way that they have dedicated themselves to a common goal, to achieving at the very highest. It wasn't easy this year. I couldn't be more proud of you. We have such an amazing group of men who are outstanding ambassadors, who work tirelessly behind the scenes, dedicating themselves very special things await this group in the future. So to the members of our men's basketball program, congratulations on a great year. We're just beginning. A very special thank you to all of our fans, to our season ticket holders, family, friends, all the people along the way that continue to show up game after game, not only making the Heinz Center one of the best home court advantages in college basketball, but you showed up on the road 
supported with notes and calls. I know how much you care about this program. This is truly all about Kota. And so a big thank you to all of our fans that were with us throughout the entirety of the season for all of your support. And just know we're just getting started and we're going to need that support more than ever. So give yourself a round of applause. Also a special thank you to divisions from around the institution that have supported behind the scenes and making sure that we are building the very best for our student athletes. So members of our facilities department, Marcom, advancement, student life, the list goes on and on. Thank you all for all you've done behind the scenes to give our student athletes the best possible experience. Thank you very much. And finally, a special thank you to members of the athletic staff who really are the best of the best. We have an incredible group of staff who work tirelessly behind the scenes, who care so much for our student athletes. Uh, I couldn't be more proud of this group and more appreciative of all their efforts. So to my staff, thank you so much for all that you've been doing. So now it is my honor to talk about what we are here today to do, which is to welcome the 15th men's basketball coach of Iowa University. When Dr. Carey and I set out to hire our new coach, we were completely aligned in the attributes and qualities and traits that we were looking for in our new coach. We obviously put a premium on winning, a candidate who was one at all levels, who understood the importance of building a winning culture, and someone who valued our special tradition and legacy. This person would have rock solid core values, absolute integrity, and absolute care. Tobin embodied all that and more. Tobin is a teacher educator and mentor, and will undoubtedly continue to build on our incredible foundation here. I've had the pleasure of getting to know Tobin over the last few years, and had the opportunity to see how he builds his programs, and the impact on the lives that he has on the student athletes that are part of those programs. Well before he ever took Fairleigh Dickinson on a magical ride, Tobin was achieving outstanding success, just 25 miles from here, in Thomas Plains. <clears throat> He turned SNAC into a perennial top 25 program in Division II after inheriting a program that won just five games prior to his arrival. In total, Tobin led the Sparks to a record of 209 and 62, a winning percentage of just under 78%. Achieved five East Coast Conference regular season tournament titles. He also took the SNAC program to the NSA Division II tournament in each of his final seven seasons, with an Elite Eight appearance in 2017, Elite 16 appearances in 2019. That is just the beginning of what Tobin has achieved as a coach. The list goes on and on, and frankly, I can spend the next 10 minutes talking about all the attributes. But moreover, what we've been continuing to be impressed with is who Tobin is as a person, how he cares, the fact that he will be a fabric, a part of our Iowa community, giving up himself, understanding that basketball is much bigger than just basketball. It is a lens through which we can see all the amazing things that happen here at Iowa. And Tobin recognized that from the very beginning, many years ago. He knew this was a special place, and has always been a special place. A place with winning culture, a place that matters, a place where athletics has the ability to move people, and to move their experience, so that when our student athletes graduate, they are better for it. And Tobin recognized that from the very beginning, and that was something that was incredibly important to Dr. Carey and I. And so we couldn't be more proud to welcome so someone like Tobin, with his character, his work ethic, and his absolute commitment. So it is my honor, my pleasure, to officially welcome the 15th men's basketball coach at Iowa University.
there's always a bank. I think Dr. Kerry Shane is very the president who's uh, not only just the everybody that I talk to, just what he's done for, for Iona and, and the school, the basketball, the athletic program, the basketball program, just an incredible job. So I'm, I'm honored to work for Dr. Kerry and Matt. It just seems like the same, same thing. He's just a, a great person. Um, Iona through and through. So I'm, I'm excited to work for, for great people. You know, and I'll talk about my dad a little bit and things like that. And he always told me that, you know, surround yourself with great people. I feel so surrounded by great people here at Iona already. So it's, it's, a, it's an honor and privilege to be here, and I'm, I'm so excited. And uh, so much respect for the tradition of, of Iona basketball. You know, it's always the trophies and the, and the banners and the, the championships. And I've had a chance the last few days to talk to former coaches and so many great coaches who have been here starting with, uh, I feel bad if I name a name, I'll, I'll forget somebody else, but the Jim Malvano, the, the Tim Clues, the Coach Patino. I talked to Tim and Jerry Welsh. Jerry, Jerry Welsh, great friend of mine when I first started coaching, I was a head coach at Clarkson. We kind of hit it off and it became really good friends. He's been a good, good mentor. I talked to him. I called him yesterday and talked to him. And so, you know, Tim and Jerry, very good friends of mine. So the tradition of Iowa basketball is incredible. And uh, to be part of that is a very special thing. I want to um, mention a person who's, who was a very, very good friend of mine, Bobby O'Connor. Bobby O'Connor, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys don't know them, don't know he is. My family's here today, and Bobby's, uh, Bobby loved Iowa. He loved, he loved the school. And the two of us would strategize, maybe start like seven years ago, how I could be the Iona coach. He would sit, we'd sit at the diners, we'd talk about the Orange Town, the famous Orange Town diner, where I got the FDU job, and, and then we, we and Bobby and I would meet in the mornings, and we'd talk about how I could eventually be at Iona. And, and um, he passed away about, about a year ago. And, um, you know, I wish Bob, I wish he was here. I wish he was here because he would be so happy, so proud. Um, he's a great friend. And just, I think, one of thousands of Iona people who love this school and who love uh, what's, what's happened here and what's going to happen. So um, I'd be remiss not to, to mention him today. So um, it's, a great, it's a great day in honor, in honor of him. All right? I'm going to thank a few people. And like, I'm a, yes, I, I'm sure where's, where's, where's he at? Where's Anne? Anne right there. Anne, it's great to see you. She came to our FDU, FDU game with that one. Which team was I didn't get a chance to see you. But it's great to have you here today. And I think you know how I feel about your, your husband and, and uh, just a special person. So I'm going to thank a few people. I, I'm not, these, I've done a lot of press conferences the last like, two weeks. I'm a little bit press conference out. But I'm going to thank a few people here. I speak kind of off the cuff. I just talk about I talked to the players yesterday. I said, fellas, I'm all over the place sometimes. But it's just how, how it is. But uh, I want to thank a few people before I get going here. I want to thank um, FDU. I want to thank uh, Fairleigh Dickinson University. They took a chance on a small college coach. They took a chance on a person they, they didn't really know that well. Uh, gave me an opportunity to go there and, and, and do special things. The last 10 months at FDU have been just an unbelievable ride. The last few weeks have been an unbelievable ride. Brad Hope, the athletic director there, Jason Young, the associate athletic director there, the president, have been so supportive. So I wouldn't be here without FDU taking a chance on me. So I really appreciate that. I mean, it's been, it was an incredible ride. And I, I told the players, when you get to the NCAA tournament and you win a game, have success, it's, it's, it's unbelievably addictive for wanting to get back here. I want to be there, I want to win, I want to succeed. So to have that opportunity to do what we did, to have that success on a big stage, has got me more fired up, more excited about the potential here at Iona. So I want to thank you for the people who were there. It's hard to leave a, leave a place you just had a special vibe in. You know, that's part of, that's part of how, how life works out, but, but I wouldn't be here without them. So thank you, FDU, thank you to the people who were there. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Stack who hired me at St. Thomas Aquinas. And so my for people I'm very more for the media people who like Tim Cluse and I are very as far as our, our, our paths are very similar. Like Tim Cluse was a great coach at LU Post, he was a coach. I was at St. Thomas Aquinas, and um, he had a lot of success there, just like I did at St. Thomas Aquinas. And I would have been that job was a guy named Jerry Oswald. Jerry Oswald's a he's a New York legend in his own, in his own mind sometimes. 
but uh, a great guy. He hired me at St. Thomas Aquinas, and um, I appreciate all he did. That was a great opportunity for me, too. It got me into a position to, to make a career move. So I want to thank Jerry. Oh, he's probably watching right now. Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate all you did for me. I appreciate that. I um, want to thank, obviously, my family who's here today. My wife, Jody. She's right, she's right there. And now he's, Probably, you probably saw on TV quite a bit, you know, my kids all of a sudden become famous, they're like you know, TikTok famous, and there's all kinds of videos, we're in commercials, man. You know, we're just, we're just normal people, I'm from Iowa, she's from Kentucky, we're just normal Midwestern people, we're just goofy as heck, people, people think I'm funny, you know, I, you know, I'm like, I'm just my normal, you know, my, my kids laugh at me, they think I'm, I'm ridiculous, so uh, we're just a normal Midwestern family who's on the East Coast and lo loving what we're doing, and, and um, when you're a coach's wife, it's hard, so... I love the last week has been that hard for her. She's actually enjoyed the last week a little bit, but, but uh, she is so supportive and such a wonderful person, and I wouldn't be in this position without her, without her help and guidance and, and love and, and care. So uh, I just, she's just an awesome, awesome person. I'm lucky to have found her. So thank you, Jody. I appreciate all the love. And my kids, my kids are in school. We, didn't, we thought we'd go to, we thought we'd go to Ohio. And maybe win, if we lucky to win a game, we'd be gone for three days. But if so they missed all school, so they wanted to come today, but they had to stay in school. My, my son Bryce, who's 16 years old, my daughter, who is uh, 13 years old, you know, I, they, they were a big part of my life, obviously. You know, people ask me as a coach, do you get nervous? Like, were you nervous before the Purdue game or nervous before the Florida Atlantic game and that kind of thing? And like, I get more nervous watching my son run cross country. Like, I, I get way more nervous watching it than that. And also, shout out to the cross country program here. I, I'm not trying to put a plug in for my son, but he's a He's a really good runner. I, I, gotta, I gotta spend some time. Coach, I'll spend some time with the coach this afternoon and try to sell my son. But watching him run or watch my daughter dance, like, you know, as a parent, as a parent, you, you get more nervous for that kind of stuff there. So um, I have two great kids and, and, and love to death, obviously. My, my brother, Tucker, you might have saw him, but he's on TV too. He, he spent more TV time than I think I did. He's in the locker room, he's all, he's all over the place, you know? So, um, he is um, obviously my best friend, my brother. We grew up together, the whole, the whole thing. And, and so I'm walking in today to, to the arena, and, and uh, he, he, he's from Iowa. He flew in last night and walks up surprises me. So it's an unbelievable thing. So I appreciate him and his wife, Jessica, for coming today. Thank you very much. Um, I hope my former assistant coach, the former players, all the guys that I've coached with, all my former players, they all, they all came out to Ohio to watch us play. They all, they all were been a big part of my lives. So I told the guys yesterday, like, you know, our players will be a big part of my life. Like, they'll come to my house for dinner, they'll come to my house for, to watch college football games. Like, our players are a part of our life. My wife cooks for them. You know, during COVID, we, we brought them you know, stuff all the time. Like, we, our players are a big part of my life. Like, I, 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 my dad was that way. I don't, and you talk to this, I don't know how many times in, in our house we'd be sitting at home and be one of a player would be have a be there for dinner, or he'd stay overnight sometimes, or he'd be around. My dad treated his players so well, and they were part of his life. And so, guys, you know, you're you're going to be a big part of my life, and, I, and and I'll be a big part of your life. And I look forward to that. Obviously, that's a big a big thing. So, um, a lot of things to accomplish there. I want to um, shout out to the coaches here at Iona, uh, Billy Chambers, Coach Pat Matt talks about. Congratulations to, to her for a great run in the Go to NCAA tournament. I look forward to supporting the teams here. I'm a small school guy, so I love I, I love going to baseball games, softball games, soccer games. I'll be there all the time to support you. And um, I'm looking forward to working with Billy and the rest of the staff that's here. It'll be exciting. And, you know, as far as and, and also my assistant coaches were here, uh, a couple guys that helped me out, Cam Morrell and Ray Savage are here. Jack Castleberry, the new coach at FTU, is here today. I appreciate that. I've got. I've got his press conference tomorrow. I'm shutting the press conferences down for a while. We no more press conferences for, for a while because I'm going to support him tomorrow. But he's a, a great guy. I'm proud, of, proud of him. I'm excited for him, obviously. Um, as far as what we're going to do here, you know, I want to do this, and I want to add on that. You know, I want to I take out of basketball to a place it hasn't been. Now, as you know, I'm, I'm prone to saying things sometimes that get repeated. I can tell the kids that happened again before the Purdue game, correct? So, but that's, I want our guys to know we have big goals here. We want to do special things.
We want to get to a sweet 16. That's something that can happen here. With the, with the direction and the, and, the, and the support and the resources that are here. Like, I feel, I feel so wanted here. I feel so supported here. And we're going to go do special things. We're going to try, like, like heck, to do something that has not been done before. You know, I told the guys next year this time, I don't want to be meeting. I want to be playing. I want to be somewhere in a, in a regional, the regional final playing to go to the final four. Is it hard to do? Yeah, it's hard to do. It's really hard to do. But that's the goal. The goal is to do something that's not been done before. The goal here is, is to win NCAA games, win championships, you know, keep packing this place. I've watched games on TV. It's incredible the, the support that's here. We want to add on to that. We're going to play a fun style. We're going to score points. We're going to play fast. We're going to be in great shape. We're going to guard people. If you saw us play the tournament, our style is unbelievable. Our style is fun to play. We're going we're to do some things that, 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 are, that are really special. But our goal is to win at a high level. And I'm not going to back down from that. It's not, that's not how I am. I'll try to make, maybe keep some time to, to ourselves a little bit. I, I, won't, I won't tell you everything, but I want to do special things. And special things can be done. I want to be done in the past. A lot of success here. I want to add on to that. So, you know, that's absolutely